in polycystic kidney disease cysts grow inside a person's kidneys in most cases leading to kidney failure a healthy kidney filters out toxins in the blood and eliminates them from the body in the form of urine the cysts interfere with the kidney function in autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease there are at least two genes which if mutated can cause cysts to grow in the kidneys these genes are pkd1 on chromosome 16 and pkd2 on chromosome 4 as there are two copies of each gene in the body a person with a mutation in one of pkd1 or pkd2 genes will eventually develop polycystic kidney disease There are no directly adverse consequences of having only one working copy of PKD1 or PKD2. However, over the years, there is a fairly high probability of spontaneous mutations in the working copies of PKD1 or PKD2. For a person who inherited a mutation in PKD1 or PKD2, Over the years some fractions of the kidney cells may acquire a mutation in the other copy of the gene kidney cells with two mutated copies of PKD1 or PKD2 genes will develop into cysts why are PKD1 and PKD2 so important the cell uses these two genes to produce two proteins polycystin 1 and polycystin 2 Together, polycystin 1 and polycystin 2 form a channel on the surface of the cell which allows small molecules to enter. These molecules identify the cell as a kidney cell and trigger the production of kidney structures. If the polycystin 1 or polycystin 2 don't work, the cell does not get the signals that identify it as a kidney cell no kidney structures are made these undetermined cells do not have any blood filtering abilities and grow into cysts in the kidneys as the cysts grow their size can also block the ability of neighboring kidney cells from filtering blood eventually the entire kidney may fail at which point the patient will require dialysis and a kidney transplant